We're back. Power rankings. Week 14 edition. And in today's episode, at number 32 and 31, as you can guess, staying the same are the Texans 110 and 1, and the Broncos 3 and 9. The Texans, it's a sad day, but uh, they have been eliminated from the playoffs. Broncos, they they are still alive somehow. Because uh, the Jets are the seven seed at worst. The Jets do 7 and 10. The Broncos went out 8 and 9. So the Broncos can't make it, but well, let's be honest, it's not going to happen. Uh, nothing to really talk about. Sean Watson, you know, beat the Texans. I wouldn't really say that. He played horrible, but. Went to win for the Browns. <clears throat> And the Broncos, uh, they lost 10-9 to a backup quarterback. Number 30, uh, they're going to be going down the spot. I have the uh, the Bears. Another one. They have now been eliminated from the playoffs. Uh, just to keep that uh, clear, uh, those are the only two teams eliminated from the playoffs. The Bears, they... Uh, they lost to the Packers. What was the score? 28-19. Uh, yeah, they, the Bears are winning for most of that game, but the Packers came back in the end. Unfortunately, Bears, that does eliminate you from the playoffs. You are the first NFC team to be eliminated. Number 29, going up a spot, we have the Saints. After choking away a 13-point lead, they lose to the Buccaneers, 17-16. Now giving one team in the NFC South a 500 record, at least. Uh, Yeah, that was a bad game. Surprisingly, I actually stayed up and watched that game compared to other games where I usually just fall asleep. But the Saints kept it close. That's all that matters. But now you're 4-8. You have an outside chance at making... The playoffs beside your division, because that division is wide open. But I believe you went 0-2 this year versus the Buccaneers, which means you're gonna need you're gonna need some luck. 28, they're gonna be staying the same. And while we're here, 27 is also staying the same. I got the two cat teams, the Panthers and the Jaguars. Panthers are on a bye week, so we're not gonna talk about them, but they did release Baker Mayfield. And 27, the Jaguars, they got destroyed. It was like 40 to 10 or something, 40 to 14 against the Lions. Jaguars, you keep your playoff hopes alive, barely, just like the Broncos. You can finish 8 and 9. No, you can't. You're 4 and 8. What am I talking about? Wow, I thought you were 3 and 9. Uh, so, if you can you know, win some games, you have a chance. 26, Colts are going to be dropping down two spots. The score of that game was 54-19. Uh, conveniently, I stayed up for the first three quarters of the game, and then in the fourth quarter, I fell asleep. Of course. That's when the Cowboys, you know, went off. So, Colts, uh, you're now at an outside chance because of that tie, so you got you to gotta turn the heat up. Maybe you signed Baker Mayfield, though. 25, we got L.A. Rams. They're going to be going down two spots. Uh, you guys need to win out, and you need the uh, Seahawks to lose out. That is literally, like, your only way in now. And with five weeks left to go, it's not looking very likely. Because you lost to the Seahawks. 24, we got the Raiders. They're going to be going up two spots. They pick up another win. They're really just shocking me with these wins. 27-20 over the Chargers. That now puts them... Right behind the Chargers and the Patriots in that wild card race. And now, you know, looking to creep in on the Jets. Um, and yeah, I don't think they're going to get it done come playoff time if they even make that. But they're going to, it looks like they're going to give, you know, teams run for their money come week 18. It looks like they might be, you know, in the, in the hunt. 23, we got the Falcons. They're going to be going down three spots. 19-16, speaking of, 22, oops, Rams were at 25, right? 
Point two, I have the Steelers. They're going to be going up three spots. These two teams played each other. The Steelers won 19-16 in a very close game. Congrats, Steelers, on the win. Sucks to be you, Falcons. Now you're just running the Buccaneers pool even farther ahead. Steelers, you keep your playoff hopes alive with that win. Not really alive, but, like, keep them possible. Because you'd still be alive if you lost, but, yeah. 21, we got Green Bay up a spot. They pull out a 29-18. No, 27-18. Hold on. This is my own team. How do I not know the score? 28-19 win over the Bears. Uh, It was a very close game until the end, but... Packers get it done. Uh, that's really it. I don't think the Packers are gonna make the playoffs. I think we're looking at our seven playoff teams now. The eighth team, it's it's gonna be between the Commanders and Seahawks. That's going to be that seven seed. It's kind of those eight teams. I think it's really gonna come down to Giants, Commanders, Seahawks. Those are the three teams that are battling for the six and seven seed. I think everyone else is essentially out of it. Besides the South, anyone can win the NFC South. 20, we got the the Cardinals. They're going to be going down as two spots. Uh, they had a bye, but I, I moved two teams ahead of them, it looks like. Or I just dropped them. <coughs> 19, we got the Browns. They're up two spots. An ugly win against the Texans. Deshaun Watson looked horrible, but what it shows is you can win even when playing bad. And you're starting to get a little streak going. So, tough one between the Bengals next week. That's going to be... Very huge, not just for your playoff hopes, but for that division entirely. That's really been a ravens Bengals battle this whole season. But with uh, both teams having close games, if you can defeat the Bengals and the Ravens continue to struggle, I'd say you guys are not out of you know winning that division. 18, we got the, the Buccaneers. Uh, they go down a spot. They barely beat the Saints again, 17-16. I'm glad I stayed up until 11.30 at night to watch that game. Ugh. On my phone because, you know, I don't have ESPN. I have NFL Plus. So, good win, Buccaneers, but uh, try not to keep it close next time. 17, we got the Lions. They're going to be going up two spots. The Lions are making a case, man. They have won, like... What? Were they like two and seven or two and six at one point? They're now five and seven. Three of the last four? That is a great, you know, streak you have. And I'm not counting you guys out of making the playoffs either if you continue to pull the, pull uh, these wins out. They may not be against the great teams. Heck, some were. The Giants was a pretty good one, but you got a long way to go. You got five weeks, and I believe you're like two and a half games behind. So. You got to turn, turn on the clock. You're racing against it. Getting into the top half at 16. We got the Patriots going down four spots. In 59, the Chargers also going down four spots. These two teams, 6 and 6, these are kind of the, the two teams who have a chance of making the playoffs who probably aren't. <clears throat> Patriots are only half a game behind, but the Chargers, I believe, are a game and a half. It's not looking great for you guys. You're 6-6. Six and six. You're really struggling. You're going to have to, you know, find something soon if you want to, you know, compete. Even if you make the playoffs, it's not looking good past the first round. 14, we got the Commanders up two spots. They tied. They tied with the Giants. Speaking of, 13, we got the Giants. They're going to be going up two spots as well because I dropped the Chargers and Patriots down. <clears throat> Um, they tie 2020. They now are going to play week 15 in a week, and uh, their game has been flexed to Sunday night. I'm actually probably going to watch that one. Hopefully, it's good, a good game. And yeah, I'm excited to see how that one goes. Uh, seven four and one, and seven and five and one between the two teams. It's going to be a good, you know, final few weeks in the NFC. I hope. Twelve, we have the Hawks, the Seahawks going up two spots. After the Commanders tied and they beat the Rams, they now retake the seventh seed. Uh, they beat the Rams 27-23 in a pretty close game, but a win is a win. And Seahawks, let's see how you do with it, because uh, 
you know, you're in a situation where the commanders are right behind you and you have some, some NFC teams starting to creep up a bit. You cannot afford to make many mistakes. 11, we have Tennessee. They're going to be going down two spots. Uh, they pick up a nice 35-10 loss to, I would say, the Eagles, but it really wasn't the Eagles. It was really just on offense, A.J. Brown and Jalen Hurts. A.J. Brown going off against his old team, Jalen Hurts going off in general. And that's why I think Jalen Hurts is one of two MVP candidates. Titans, you're fine. You're 7-5. and five. You, you have that division in the bag, in my opinion. So, don't sweat it. Number 10, we got the Jets. They're going up free spots. I'm finally getting on that Jets high train. Even though you lost, you kept it close with the Vikings. Uh, 27-22, is Mike White a solid quarterback? Who knows? Uh, I'm excited to see what you guys do next week. I believe you play next week. So I believe you've already had your bye. Uh, and, yeah, uh, I'm really now that they don't have Zach Wilson, I'm really excited to see what the Jets can do. No offense, but I just hated the Jets because of Zach Wilson. Nothing wrong with him. It's just how he plays. Same with the Buccaneers, though. I hate Brady. Not the Bucks, just Brady. Heck, if Brady went to the Packers, I'd probably hate the Packers for until he's gone. That says something. Number nine. I have the Dolphins down three spots. Do it turn the ball over. Uh, you finally get handed a loss. Uh, took you long enough. Um, to Brock Purdy, out of all quarterbacks. How Brock Purdy exposed you guys, I don't know. But <laughs> you better hope, you know, this was just a one-time thing or... Because if you're able to beat good quarterbacks and suck at bad quarterbacks, that's... Ugh. Number eight, we got Baltimore. They're going to be staying the same. They pick up a 10-9 win over the Broncos. A very close game. But a win to win. Uh, I hope Lamar Jackson is back next week because uh, no offense to Tyler Huntley, but even though he played well last season when Lamar didn't play, uh, he didn't win. That's the big thing for the Ravens. They're in a great spot right now, and they really cannot afford to lose games. Because uh, unlike the NFC, the AFC is actually kind of tight. You're only half a game ahead of the Bengals, so. And I believe if you lose that game, you're probably dropping down to the seventh seed. Seven, we got the Vikings up three spots. Uh, congrats on the win. Second team to reach double-digit wins. 27-22 win against the Jets. So you're picking up wins against good team now. Uh, I'm starting to regret, you know, uh, I'm not. I still fought you, you know, 10 in those weeks. But you're starting to move up on my ranks, so um, good job. Uh, so, yeah, enjoy 7. Um, number 6, Sam Fran, they're going to be going uh, up a spot. They pick up a win over the Dolphins pretty brutally, honestly. Uh, Jimmy G leads the game. Brock Purdy comes in, wins the game. Jimmy G out for the rest of the season with a broken foot, I believe. I really think, I really think that they're going to sign Baker Mayfield. I could even see them signing a guy like Cam Newton as well. I really think that's not out of the question. So, maybe they even bring Colin Kaepernick back for a reunion. Who knows? But, uh, I'm excited to see how the 49ers do because... I mean, if Brock Purdy was able to beat the Dolphins, it seems like, you know, he's not, you know, as bad as, you know, past Mr. Relevance have been. Number five, we have the Chiefs. They're going to be going down four spots. It's unfortunate that I dropped you down four spots, but you were number one. You, you lost 22 and 24 to the Bengals third time in a row now. It's not looking great for you guys. You gotta piece these wins together now. You're nine and three. You now drop down to the two seed behind the Bills. And it, I don't know if the Bills are gonna lose another game because the Bills are the Bills. So that one loss there might have lost you to buy. And I'm just gonna show four for one. They're all moving up one spot. The Eagles, Bills, Cowboys, Bengals. We'll start at four with the Bengals. 27-24 win over the Chiefs. They looked very good that game. I think the Bengals are 
starting to come on fire. Number three, Cowboys blowout win against the Colts. That goes without saying. Their defense is phenomenal. Their offense can be great. It, this is regular season, though. Let's see how they do come playoff time. Number two, Bills. Um, you you beat the Patriots on Thursday. Uh, I think you guys are going to do well this year. I'm, I'm expecting big things. Hopefully Super Bowl. At least appearance. And hopefully you win one this time. Um, but it's uh, – that's really it. And number one, Eagles, you have one loss for a reason. Dominant win against the Titans. So I think you guys are completely fine. You're a glitch code. Uh, but you're winning. That's what matters. And you're doing it in great fashion. So that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed I did. I will see you guys next time tomorrow with – predictions week 14 which by the way i believe is the last of bye week for uh nfl team so yeah uh let me know if you disagree with any uh and yeah goodbye